So my name's Nigel Phillips. My current role is I'm acting BDAS director in Life Without Barriers, but my substantive position is regional director in the East region. Been with Life Without Barriers, wow, three and a half years now. So my name's Justin Heath and uh, I'm the regional director in the southeast for VDAS. I've been here with Life Without Barriers now for two years. Really a number of factors. I think I've got a social justice background coming from South Africa and due to normal circumstances I was able to find myself working with people with disabilities in outreach which was really important and that was in a justice space as well so it was just really fulfilling seeing people's lives improve just by small little actions I just thought that's that's what I want to do for the rest of my life just in terms of working with people with disabilities in various areas just being a small part in trying to improve people's lives and you think you give more but you actually receive much more through the whole process and just the learnings you take from from people is just so important so a number of factors but that's the short version i'm a country boy and went to uni in adelaide and following uni came out in the recession and luckily a job opportunity opened up in an advocacy organization so i was working with citizen advocacy for about three and a half years and in that time i really got to understand disability got to understand you know the social justice side of things so i've been in and out of a few different roles but keep coming back into into disability roles so i've been lucky it's taken me to a whole lot of places i've worked in remote northern territory i did that for quite a, a long time and i found having a disability background is opened up a whole lot of, you know, roles in social justice. Also, the other side of it was I was late diagnosed with autism. So I guess over the years, it felt like a really good fit for me. And maybe that was part of that as well in that, um, you know, I felt I felt like I could contribute and give back as well. Obviously, our teams do amazing jobs in terms of supporting people with community access, with active support, with looking for jobs, building capacity according to their plans. Part of our role on our level is really a focus on building the capacity of our teams to provide that support. One of the things we've really been encouraging in, in our teams is, you know, being present at ho- in the houses and, and visiting houses and just being a part of what people are doing. It links you back to why you in the field and what what the purpose is so in terms of the accessibility and building capacity we really encourage our teams to work on that the active support is a big area that we trying to uh, continue to promote and just people's voices get, getting feedback in terms of what they want to do and not giving them a certain framework to to work in or live in but finding out what they want to do and just encouraging them and supporting them. Our teams are really doing a good job in that in that space. There's always room for improvement, but we're working hard. It is really about empowering our teams. And I find I learn as much from my team as, you know, I think as a leader, you think you know stuff and bring that in, but it's also what you'll get from your, your own team. So when it comes to like accessibility, when it comes to getting ideas on how people with a disability can become sort of more involved and more uh, part of the community. It's about me working with my direct operations team. It's about how they then work with their teams and that flow and effect. The creativity of people is, is really amazing in what they're doing. Like we had one example where a person did this amazing outline of this person's breakfast and how to assist in preparing breakfast for this person. Very, very simple but easy, adaptable, so that if someone new comes in, they pick it up straight away. And that, it sounds easy, but it, it takes a bit of work to work that through. So what we're finding is it's the small little things that are making a lot of difference in, in community access and active support, which is excellent. The team do some amazing work with the families and engagement with families is, is really important because we know that we only here for a short period of time and families are on people's journey for their whole lives. Families are just, just amazing in in what we learn from families sometimes the communication is not easy but it's really important for us to uh to stay close to families and learn families are the cornerstone of people's lives and we've got to remember a lot of people with disability don't don't have extended sort of um, groups of people that they that they know so having those families there sort of like that 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 crucial support there for so many people and then it's like working and growing people's circles of support and again it's like when you when you sit and listen to a family story you're gaining so much you're learning so much you're learning about the person through people that have experienced it you know from the start there's so many probably um seeing a person move into a house and they just living their best life possible i won't mention names but this person moved from one house in lwb to another house 
and the house they were previously in um, closed because the SDA provider was closing that house. So they, they still wanted to stay within LWB and they've been in that in that previous house oh, 20, 20, 30 years uh, and it was, it was a big move. But the team did an amazing job with the transition and working with families and this person living in this, um, this new house is just so enjoying it, making new friends uh, and just seeing all the work that's put in that that's that's one of a moment that stands out for me i think from it like from a personal reward point of view for me it's seeing those great interactions with our teams yeah that and, and and people the people they support because that for me is what i'm here for my, i see my role as, as being here to help facilitate help support people that, that do the job to to you know support the people that we support yeah for me that's the, the reward when i can say okay that team has really got it. It's about like you know building up and, and picking up and seeing seeing the growth within those teams and then and then the good service that they're providing. So that's that's really rewarding. Yeah, definitely consider it. Do your research. Get involved in some placements. Check if it's something that you'd really be interested in. But it's it's so rewarding. It's a a job that will you know and not not so much a job but an area that will grow you and develop as a person as a leader and you'll just learn so much from the space so i really encourage you to do your due diligence and research it what job can you get so many things out of you know you've got so many levels of support or so many levels of reward that you can get um in disability so in my role um, i'm getting a very different reward than say someone that's working as a support worker but i mean what job do you come to where you can like hang out with people you can help you know be with them and, and and walk alongside them so they can live their best life. I mean, I think as an employment type, it's, it's more of a vocation. So yeah. you're out there and, you, and you're doing some really cool stuff. It's a great career opportunity. So absolutely, I, I would recommend it to anybody that loves people.